Hey guys, what's up? My name is Omar Sathawas. Welcome back to my pathetic channel. So, um, why, why? Yeah. So, आज हम लोग पढ़ने वाले हैं ये बिल्कुल ये तो चीज बिल्कुल भी नहीं पढ़ने वाले हैं तो ये आज हम लोग if states if statements if statements में थोड़ा सा deep घुसेंगे Last time में मैंने if else if and else ये तीनों block of code of कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स को मैंने कवर कर ही दिया था बहुत अच्छे से लेकिन क्या करो यार किसी की आती थी और मेरी छाती थी छोटी बच्ची हो क्या तो बेसिकली फॉर दैट वेरी रीजन बिकॉज यू पीपल आर वेरी छोटी बच्ची सो वी आई वुड बी गोइंग थ्रू इट इन डिटेल काइंड ऑफ डिटेल ओके सो हियर वी हैव दिस इंफॉर्मेशन पैन हियर वी हैव द कोड एडिटर हियर वी गॉट अ पॉप अप एर लिव दैट इग्नोर इट फॉर नाउ यू ऑल्सो नो वाई दैट error pops up because we have some instructions to follow which we just did not and i'm really sorry and here in this black region is called is called our console this black region is our console okay without any further delay new tab bolte hain or free code camp chahte hain yahan pe and free code camp hai kya hum log kyun istemal kar rahe hain bro kyunki we want a good code editor jahan pe hum log apna code type kar sake hain to ye bahut acha sa place hai jahan bahut acha code editor milta hai hum log ko so we'll just minimize this part cuz we really don't need it and here is our console test the output here and here ignore this error this error is coming again because we are not following some instructions given here we are just interested we are very very selfish person a uh, very very uh, profit oriented person so basically we need this code editor here you know and the console here let's drag it to this place सो या लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट दिस इज बेसिकली आप बिहारी प्रोग्राम माई चैनल दे माई जस्ट अपडेटेड माई यू नो दिस चैनल आर्ट वाई सो स्लो या इट गॉट अपडेटेड सो बेसिकली बिहारी प्रोग्राम ऑन हु द मैम एफ पर्सन जस्ट अनसब्सक्राइब टू वन ट्वेंटी सेवन बढ़ने के चक्कर तक घट रहा है बट आई डोंट केयर इफ यू जस्ट ग्रो आई बिलीव इन माय एफर्ट्स एंड माय कंटेंट, सो आई हैव अ टेलिस्ट एज यू ऑल नो व्हिच वी इन व्हिच वी टॉक अबाउट ब्रा माय नेट इज सो पथेटिकली स्लो आई डोंट नो व्हाई सो हियर वी हैव जावा स्क्रिप्ट फॉर नूब्स देर अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव वीडियोज नाउ ट्वेंटी फाइव या देर ट्वेंटी फाइव वीडियोज इट कवर्स एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम वेरी बेसिक एक बेवकूफ इंसान भी कोर्ट सीख सकता है इफ इज रियली इंटरेस्टेड इट आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन इट सो वेल So without any further delay, let's get into our today's topic. So today's topic is if statements. Okay, let's see the information there. We often perform a task based on condition. Yeah. For example, if weather is nice today, then we will go outside. If the weather is even bad, I would like to go outside. I don't know. If alarm clock rings, then we'll shut it off. Okay. When alarm clock rings, we'll shut it off. The condition and some actions taken on that condition. If we are tired, then we'll go to sleep. I think these conditions are followed by really ethically sounded people because I'm really fucking tired. I've not slept for I don't know, sleep deprived for really long hours now. But I don't want to go to sleep. If we are tired, then we'll go to sleep. So here first is a condition, and this is the task we need to perform. Okay, you're using the if statement. If statement, do you see? If has been repeated here in every damn line. If the alarm clock goes off, if it's a night, nice weather. If we are tired. <coughs> if this particular part is true, that if we are tired, then we need to perform this action. Let's go to sleep. You know, if this uh, part is true, that is true. If that is, if the clock rings, if this part is true, then this code is executed, or so this action we need to execute. Mm. Bro, are having fun or not? I know you are. In programming, we can also perform a task based on condition using an if statement. In programming, we can perform task based on an a condition using if statement. Okay, okay, we'll use the okay. Here we have a code written if, and we have a boolean uh, value inside the parenthesis of this if statement. and inside this curly bracket we have our block code okay and inside the block code we have a console object dot 
basically the console.log method in which there is we have a text that is this matches will be printed and basically when we try to just execute this code by putting it here it gives an output this there let's see if it works or not if inside the bracket our expression true and then we put in curly curly brackets and then we type our block code console log and inside we'll type this we'll type the string this let me assess age woo Brrr. print we are int sorry sorry bura to nahi laga aapko nahi laga sorry fir bhi okay <laughs> so yeah We lost, we just missed the exclamatory mission part. Let's see. See the console. Console panel, P A N E L panel, whatever. Control enter to run this. Do you see my bag there? That's not my bag, that's my sister's bag. You know that error? That we got an output. This message will be, will print. This message will print. So we got, yeah, it's working. You know, everything is proper here. Properly written code. Now, notice in the example above, if we have an if statement, if statement is composed of if, that keyword, if, if, if is a keyword. I, sh sh I showed you the list of, you know, how many keywords are there in JavaScript. I should have opened it, but okay. If it's a keyword, like console is also a keyword. Keyword followed by a set of parentheses. Yeah, we have these brackets, okay, inside. We have the expression parenthesis, which is followed by a code block here. This is in the curly bracket. This is the the time that there is the curly bracket written. Just know that that is the starting of our code block or block statement indicated by the set of curly brass braces or some brackets braces or brackets braces inside the parenthesis, a condition provided that that evaluates to true or false basically inside this whatever the value is it should return a boolean output that is true or false basically here will be an expression you can even write it like we can do something with it like um let let us let us do something else Let's define a variable using the let keyword and we'll a and we'll equate it to let's say Let's say 10. I'm sorry. Let's say 10 Okay And here We'll type a So since simply when we write a it basically means that yeah that a equals to 10 is true we even writing it 11 would not give us an out what the fuck it just keeps on giving us an output why is it working bro i need some time i guess my head is aching wait 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 to bhaiyo bano mere se galti nahi hui thi it was the pathetic error of this con code editor of codeacademy.com. Basically, when I used free code cam ka code editor, ka kiya, to it was not showing any error. For example, let's take a use. Karte hai, Jaise ki hum ne pe kiya tha. Isko let's take a use. Let's take a use. Oh, bra, chill. Let's take a let. So, we have to do this variable. We define the let keyword. We use the assign 10 of value. We if statement. And inside the parentheses of the bracket, we have to variable. When you have a variable, you have to write it. So, basically, it's itself is a statement that this variable value is 10. You have to do it. It takes it as this variable value 10. है. Since a statement true होता है, अब variable का नाम को बस एक बार put करते ही, तो ये वाला message output हो जाता है. Look at this. This message 
इज प्रिंटेड तो यहाँ पे हम लोग कंसोल में आउटपुट आ गया लेकिन एट द वेरी सेम टाइम इफ यू पुट इन देयर लाइक बी ओके आई मीन लाइक वी टाइप इन देयर फॉल्स ओके एफ फॉल्स ना लिख के कोई फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट दे तो लाइक ए वेरिएबल का इस्तेमाल करते हैं और हम लोग लिख देते हैं यहाँ पे ए इज ग्रेटर देन टेन बेसिकली ए इज इक्वल टू टेन या फिर अब ए इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टेन तो यहाँ पे मैसेज आउटपुट हो जाता है क्योंकि उनमें से एक ट्रू है क्योंकि एज यू नो ए इज इक्वल टू टेन इसमें से एक ट्रू होता है लेकिन ए इज लेस देन टेन नॉट इक्वल टू समझ में आ रहा है ना सो यहाँ पे तुम्हारा एक्सप्रेशन होगा इन दिस प्लेस इफ यू इफ यूर एक्सप्रेशन इवेल्यूएट्स टू अ बोलियन वैल्यू फॉल्स तो ये वाला कोड एग्जीक्यूट नहीं होगा यू नो इफ स्टेटमेंट के साथ ही ऐसा है इफ स्टेटमेंट मतलब ट्रू होना चाहिए फॉल्स है तो ये पहला वाला पार्ट एग्जीक्यूट नहीं होगा समझ में आ रहा है कि नहीं चिल आ रहा है कि नहीं मजा आ रहा है कि नहीं यहाँ पे लिख दो तुम टेन आउटपुट दे दे रहा है एलेवन आउटपुट दे दे रहा है समझ में आ रहा है कुछ नहीं लिखते हो तो आउटपुट नहीं दे रहा है बेसिकली अगर आप उसमें कोई भी डेटा टाइप लिख नल लिख देते हो तो आउटपुट नहीं दे रहा है भाई लिख दो अनडिफाइंड नोट यहाँ लिखते हैं हम लोग um, क्या बचा भाई वार ए टाइप इन ए देर ए से भी आउटपुट पता है जैट द एक्स देर सोचने की बात है कि आउटपुट क्या है बट वी ऑल नो कि जब इन ब्रैकेट्स के अंदर आप कोई नंबर टाइप करते हो अब कोई भी डेटा टाइप करते हो तो वर्क नहीं करता लेकिन जैसे नंबर टाइप करते हो तो वर्क करने लग जाता है इसमें हम लोग का एक ट्रू कंडीशन दे देते हो तो वर्क करने लग जाता है यहाँ पे आप ट्रू लिख देते हो तो वाला कोड एग्जीक्यूट होता है जैसे आप फॉर्स लिखते हो या फिर इन चीज़ों को छोड़ के अलावा कुछ और टाइप करते हो तो एग्जीक्यूट नहीं करता है तो चलो इतना काफ़ी था आपको आज कहाँ देख पा रहे थे हम लोग इन साइड द पेरेंट्स द कंडीशन इज प्रोवाइडेड दैट इवेल्यूएट्स टू ट्रू और फॉल्स इस कंडीशन के इस इसके अंदर इसको रेज कर देते हैं ठीक है हम लोग क्योंकि इस कोड को पढ़ रहे हैं इस कंडीशन इस ब्रैकेट्स के अंदर यहाँ पे फॉल्स नाम का जो चीज़ दिखा तुमको पेरेंथिस के अंदर प्राइस प्रेस के अंदर ये कंडीशन को इवेलुएट करने में या फिर एग्जीक्यूट करने में इस वाले कोड को ब्लॉक कोड को या फिर कह लो ब्लॉक स्टेटमेंट को एग्जीक्यूट करने में मदद करता है अगर ये फॉल्स कर दो कि तो ये कभी लाइफ टाइम एग्जीक्यूट नहीं होगा और से इन इंग्लिश बाप चनम लाइफ टाइम इक्वेज टू बाप चनम इफ द कंडीशन इवेलुएट ट्रू द कोड इन साइड द करली ब्रेस इज एग्जीक्यूट ओके इफ यू इन साइड दिस ब्रैकेट इफ द एक्सप्रेशन इज ट्रू दैट विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड इफ इट्स फॉल्स दैन इट विल नेवर बी एग्जीक्यूटेड If the code evaluates to false, the block code wouldn't be executed. Let's make an if statement. Like okay, use let let keyword to declare let keyword to declare a variable sale. Okay, sale. Okay, assign it to a value a boolean value of true. I was like okay. Okay, I did it. So press Control Enter. Blue tick, TikTok or Instagram? Yeah, blue tick, bra. बाद में चेक मी आउट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एज एट एट द रेट फेदर रोल्स एफ ई ए टी एच ई आर ओ एल एस नाउ क्रिएट इफ स्टेटमेंट प्रोवाइड द इफ स्टेटमेंट कंडीशन ऑफ सेल वट डज दिस मीन नाउ क्रिएट एन इफ स्टेटमेंट ओके यूज द इफ की वर्ड देर एंड देन विल पुट आउट द ब्रेसिस देर और से द पेरेंथिस प्रोवाइड द स्टेटमेंट विद कंडीशन सेल so inside the condition of operate uh, parenthesis inside this bracket the where we put our expression we'll type in there sale we'll type in there sale and then we'll have uh, braces uh, sorry curly braces and then we'll do the console the log and then our statement time to die oh sorry time to buy time Time to buy. Okay. Let's use semicolon there and semicolon here too. 
time to buy. So it worked. Notice the third instruction we need to complete. Notice the code inside if statement ran since time to buy was logged on the console. Yeah, it was. The code inside this curly bracket, you know, attached to this if statement, if a st if condition statement was executed. Yeah, below the sale variable declare declaration, but before if statement reassign sale to a false. What basically saying, ki below this line and above these lines in here, uh, it's saying reassign the variable sale to a value of false so we can reassign a variable so when you'll console it out so we'll get an output false what do i mean console.log i mean type in sale there the sale variable so it will give a output false but before you know at any time it will basically we have reevaluated that Run your code and observe what happens. We'll like, change this behavior in the next exercise. So basically nothing happens. This behavior was no output on the console. Sad. Of course sad. Because uh, since this statement turns out if all the computer doesn't know what to execute. So basically it leaves it empty. Okay, let's read top questions asked on this. What condition is necessary to show that the sale value is to true? what condition is necessary basically inside this what is necessary to it to be true so basically sale equals true also gives the same but when we write sales equals false it will not execute but when we say sales equals I don't know what did it read. Basically, it doesn't execute. I don't know what this question means. We'll go into deep into that. Do I need semicolon after if statement? All right. Since this if statement is completed, no, you shouldn't type the semicolon here. It will just pop up an error. No, it didn't. It didn't. Wait, wait, let me show what do I mean. Uh, true. Sale basically. A sale is equated to false. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Let, comment, let me just comment this code out. So it will become true. So sale again has become true. So, so yeah. Do I need? No, there is no need for semicolon after this. But just you need to put semicolon after this line. And after the end of the curly braces or say the block code or block what is this called block of codes or say block statement after that you need to do that bro isn't it pain in the ass it is indeed so but you if after the if statement there else if statement then for sure not you'd be typing else if for sure and again so basically there is no space for that so yeah that's the thing you shouldn't do that but you can type it there's no problem in that it's a common practice why can't I use let to reassign a variable bro it's already assigned right so what is the need to reassign it a variable reassign it as a variable oh let me show Yeah, sale has already been. Yeah, sale has already been defined. Bro. I think I got a very cute and good reply to this. Okay, basically this happens for a good reason. Why to declare a variable more than once? Let declares a variable in its current block scope. It's inside those blocks, block codes. What do I mean by block quotes? These block quotes, when it's inside these block quotes, and we have used the let keyword, 
so basically it's limited to that place outside when you try to log it out it will just say it doesn't exist but when you try to log it out inside the code inside the block it will say yes it exists hmm. after we can change the value as often as i need so yeah, yeah basically that why to declare it once again bro chill okay now this one what condition is necessary to show that sale is true okay this ex uh, this exercise just threw me i was expecting to put a uh, put an argument in the statement okay like argument was sale equals true okay not just not just if sale okay where did i miss the crucial step i went elsewhere to find that variable not assigned a value primitive boolean 0 while a variable assigns a value primitive boolean 1 hi your argument is what i don't know what to explain difference between sale and sale equals true if you type only sale it should work yeah there is no help to that create if statement I'm going blank. I'm just going blank. Bro, basically the thing is, for now, I would say, no need to give it an, you know, a different argument kind of thing. We're just putting our expression there. That that's our variable. Now, without alternating anything. So, it just should just work fine. It's working. Yeah, it is going good. The next video you will learn about else statements. For now, as your quota ho gaya pura. Chalo chale, chalo chale. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Chalo chale, chalo. So before we leave, I love you guys. Tara, see you soon. Okay. See you soon. Yeah.